This is interesting because Nirvana back in the news in a way. Yeah, um, Francis Bean Cobain, who of course is Kurt's daughter, and uh, the, the the mother is uh, Courtney Love. Courtney Love. She's done an interview with Rolling Stone magazine. Uh, Frances was only one when her father died. She's now 22 and she's an artist living in Hollywood. Oh, what kind of artist? I'm not sure. A Hollywood artist. Um, oh. She was also the executive producer of the HBO documentary Kurt Cobain, Montage of Heck. Is that is that what it's because called? I think when she turned 18 it was some weird trust issue, and I'm talking about a trust she meaning uh, all the money and the rights had rights to a lot of his image and creative mm. output. In the Rolling Stones interview, she said her father could have been another guy who abandoned his family in the most awful way possible, but he wasn't. She said he became even bigger after he died than he was when he was alive. You didn't think it could get any bigger, but it did. In reality, if he had lived, this is terribly sad. I would have had a dad, and that would have been an incredible experience. That is a bit sad. Um, Mm -hmm. She also admitted that she doesn't really, and this is the area we're moving into, she doesn't really like her father's music. It's a bit harsh. Hard to believe too, isn't it? I mean, I I would rate Nirvana as one of the great bands. But also because you lived through them. I know, they were my generation. But also they transformed, like they really did change a whole genre of music. They 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 were grunge. If you only just heard of them about five or six years ago and probably started listening to them like maybe she did. Uh, or maybe she's heard them all her life. And she's like, maybe. enough. And it just doesn't matter. I mean, it's still your dad, isn't it? Like, it's like, hmm. I don't really like Nirvana much, she says. I'm more into Mercury Rev. I played that once on the iPod, remember? And we were like, who's this? <laughs> That's right. Where were you guys listening to your iPod Just together? Were you sharing little, little earphones? Little kitchen party. Little, <laughs> little kitchen earphones? party. Yeah, Marty had just got one of those uh, sous vide <laughs> salmon steaks out of the uh, fridge and we, we ate it with some olives. Oh, it was beautiful. It was a wonderful night. She likes Oasis. Yep. Uh, Brian, the Brian Jonestown Massacre. Oh, they're amazing. I don't know them. Oh, they're they're a bit like what's the other what band they're like? The Dandy Warhols. Mm. So you should watch a movie and a documentary called Dig. Do you think I'm going to? Yeah, I'd like you to. It's, it's about good, it's the Brian movie. Jonestown Massacre and the Dandy Warhols and how one became a commercial success and the other one didn't. Okay. The grunge scene is not what I'm interested in, says Francis Bean Cobain. Do you hate what your dad does is the question we're asking. I love it. Thirteen twenty four ten. Do you hate what he does? Is he is he is he coming home at eight o'clock? Uh, is he leaving the house at six in the morning? Oh, you want real life oh, stories. I like real life. I was like expecting one of the Wiggles kids to call up. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you meant do you hate that your dad leaves the toilet seat up? Oh no. Oh god, you're oh, no. so far you off. You mean the area. like no, jobs? That's, no, that's regional breakfast radio. Yeah, stuff. you've done a phone for CFM. <laughs> the toilet seat up. Oh, God, I hate that. Hey, do you hate what your dad does? Give us a call. You can interpret that however you'd like. 13, 20, 14. Do you hate what your dad does?